You can see here I've created a very basic page with just a checkbox on it. And a checkbox is usually part of a form. You know, a form asks the user for information and you may ask them a yes or no question and then they can check or uncheck the box. But in this instance I'm going to talk you through how to use a checkbox purely for visual purposes. For example, I sometimes use checkboxes on an order form because after someone has clicked, let's say they've read a sales page, a sales page on a website and they click the order link and the order link takes them to an order order page which simply reiterates the offer which sums up the offer and often just has a checkbox confirming that they wish to place their order it doesn't actually do anything but it's a visual and maybe a a small sales tactic you know this checkbox is already checked so your order's ready to be placed, for example. Actually, what I've done, I've brought up a page which demonstrate, demonstrates this well. It's actually unchecked initially. You know, it doesn't. if you check or uncheck it, the, the, the site here, I very much doubt it checks whether it's checked or not. But it's purely a psychological thing, confirming that the user wishes to place their order and maybe confirms that they understand the terms of the order. You know, some pages do check whether it's checked or not. I don't know if this one does or not, but often it is just used as a sales tactic. Just, uh, just as a visual sales tactic. Okay. So if you wish to add a checkbox like that, which, well in this instance I'm going to talk you through one which doesn't as already mentioned, which doesn't do any checks. I've got the code here. It's as simple as this. In your page, page just include the input tag, type equals checkbox, and then if you want it pre-checked, have checked equals checked. So that's, that's of course how it looks, pre-checked if we get rid of this save and refresh by getting rid of it it's by default it's unchecked 